Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with another exciting video. Today we have a how-to guide um, installing the Android P beta on the Essential phone. So Google announced back on Tuesday, Google I.O., that um, the Android P beta is available for Pixel, Pixel 2 devices, but not only that, but also available on um, about five of the six other OEMs, um, Essential, OnePlus, uh, Sony, Xiaomi, and Vivo. So I already have it installed on here, but that's going to be a different video for a different day. Today we're going to be going over how to install it. Two different ways you can do that. Um, but first, what you're going to need to do is make sure that you have um, proper ADB fast boot setup and then uh, proper Windows drivers installed for the Essential Phone. I'll leave the link for all that down in the description, I usually use a minimal ADB fast boot and then just install the drivers for the Essential Phone. So I'll leave the links for that. Uh, next, you need to then head over to the uh, developer page for Essential um, to be able to download uh, the proper files. So there are two different ways you can do this. One is via OTA, uh, via ADB sideload. Second is flashing the uh, system uh, images, factory images uh, for Android P. So what you'll need to do is go ahead and um, input your information here on the screen um, and then you'll go ahead and I acknowledge and submit. Uh, we'll be right back after we put that in. Alright, so we are now on to the next page. We see here that there is two different download uh, variations. Download via OTA or Fastboot. Um, I'll show you how to do the uh, the OTA. Um, one benefit to that is you won't need to unlock your bootloader to install this. You can install it via the stock recovery, uh, via ADB sideload. Um, I already have the file downloaded, as you can see here. I've placed that file into the directory where you have your ADB fast boot set up, um, which is going to be key in order for this to be successful. Um, another thing that this OTA uh, variation you won't lose any of your data that is on your device. Um, so that's also something that's nice. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do now is boot into our um, stock recovery. So we can start a command prompt here. ADB devices. You want to make sure that ADB is set up and turned on ADB debugging on here. We can see it is being recognized. ADB reboot recovery and it will boot into stock recovery. My device already has the unlocked bootloader, um, but I can show you how to install via fast boot as well. Hold down power, volume up, and you'll get this menu. And then we're gonna use the volume keys to go down to where it says, apply update from ADB. You go ahead and press that, and it basically tells you the uh, the syntax of what command you want to type in, adb siloed and then the file name. So if we go over to here to our file directory, we see my file name is ph-1p.zip. So you'll type in adb siloed ph-1p.zip and it's going to load the zip. And we can see down here, verifying update package. And it's going to go ahead and install. It's going to take a couple, um, couple minutes. So we'll be right back once that is finished. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, right now, it is currently 93% done. And it says step one of two. It's been over about five minutes. So definitely be patient during this installation process. Make sure you are using a different cable than what was provided with the Essential Phone, since there's been a lot of issues. Um, people saying that they've been their phone's been bricked because of the cable that was provided was only for charging, not data transfer and stuff like that. So just be careful with that. Um, also, you want to make sure that your device is uh, properly charged, so you don't have any issues there as well. Um, now, if you wanted to revert back after installing the OTA for the Android P beta, um, you will have to then unlock your bootloader and flash a factory image to revert back to Oreo. Um, so bear, keep that in mind, you may eventually have to unlock your bootloader anyways. Um, so we can see here it is currently 
it was done. Step two of two, install, complete. And we can see on your screen, control transfer two times. And if we just go down to uh, power button reboot system now, it will now reboot into Android P. The boot animation hasn't changed, at least as of now. It may change once the uh, P comes out, who knows. But that is how you install um, via OTA. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install via uh, Fastboot with the factory images. Um, so if you are now just tuning in to skip to this um, to this timestamp, then welcome. We are installing the uh, Android P beta via Fastboot. So what we're going to go ahead and do is download your Fastboot image from the same site as mentioned in the OTA, and we're going to want to download that, and then we are given a zip file. I just named it basically the same as before. So what you're gonna need to do is extract the files from inside that zip, um, which contain all of the, the images here, as you can see right here. So we're gonna need to uh, extract this to a, a folder of your choice. And in the meantime, in order to do in install this, you do need to have your bootloader unlocked. I've shown a video on how to do that already. Check that video out. I'll leave the link down in the description. So now what we're gonna go ahead and just do is boot into recovery. So go over to your ADB interface on the command prompt, ADB reboot bootloader, and it will be booted into fast boot mode. As we can see here, my device is already unlocked. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is go over to our desktop. We're gonna then copy that uh, extracted folder into where we have our uh, ADB Fastboot interface. We can see here are all the, the images found within. And then if we go over to our ADB, we type in fastboot devices just to make sure that it is being recognized, and there it is. And then what we need to lastly do, just for safe measures, copy your ADB fastboot um, files over into the, uh, the folder where you have these factory images. That way everything can be um, interfaced via fastboot that has all these factory images. Now what we just need to do is if you're on Windows, which I am Windows 10 obviously, we have this fast boot um, or this flash all uh, bat batch file. So you're gonna wanna just double tap on that. We're now up and running. So we can see here it's already sent uh, the proper boot images, it's now a writing system. This is gonna take a couple minutes as well. Also do wanna let you know that this will wipe your phone. Um, so make sure that you go ahead and uh, remove any sort of uh, pin, fingerprint scanner, uh, just because you don't wanna run into any sort of Google locks, things like that, because it will wipe your phone. So you lose any data, make sure you back up your phone, um, copy any information off the device to your computer. So you have a backup of it just in case. And there you are, it will automatically reboot once it is done. I have been running uh, Android P on my Pixel 2 XL since they announced it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video probably this weekend, uh, just going an overview in depth, uh, showing uh, my experience and kind of new features that's included. Another video will be out for the Essential Phone, uh, just because the Essential Phone is not my daily driver, but I just wanna keep you all aware of that. So stay tuned um, and subscribe so you'll be notified when those videos post up. Um, again, since the device was wiped, basically factory reset, it's taking a lot longer to do the initial boot compared to before when we did the OTA side load. So don't freak out if it is taking longer. So here it is finally done booting up and it'll take you into the initial setup screen as you can see there. Um, so yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, um, if you guys need any assistance, I'll do my best to answer your questions and help you out. And we can see their developer preview program. 
Thank you all for watching. Comment down below if you need anything. I'll do my best. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.